Boom! What is up, guys? Oh, get you the sweet outdoors. Yep, back porch edition. Just got off work and just got something I want to share with you. Uh, as you know, Southwest Florida was hit by Hurricane Ian. Uh, thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of people lost their homes, lost their cars. Lost everything. I mean, my daughter lost her car. She lives in Orlando. Anyway, these people are now displaced. They are they are living in hotels. They are living in their car tents, wherever they can sleep. Uh, it's going to be a while before their lives are back to normal. They are struggling for everyday essentials like we have. Uh, food, water, shower, a bathroom, brushing their teeth, everything, they're struggling. And it, it really, it really makes you stop and think about what could have been done. Which brings me back to what my channel originally started as when I started the channel as I intend to survive it's about being prepared for situations just like that now you can make all the preparations you want when a hurricane runs up your coast and it's got you know 12 15 foot storm surge and you live on the beach there's not much you can do but if you're a little prepared there's you know it, it will make it easier afterwards uh, we're talking being prepared as far as food and water and stuff like that and that's basically what this video is about today I don't want to drag this out any longer the introduction today's video is a review on emergency ration bars now I've already done one but these are different these are ready hour 2400 calorie emergency ration bars boom these I believe if I'm not mistaken ready hour I don't know if these are a sister company of my Patriot food and I don't know that's where I bought them off of my Patriot and they were only I believe eight dollars for this I bought two of them and we're going to open them up and try them. High energy, individually wrapped food bars. 12 bars in here, up to five year shelf life, and made in the USA. So you can't go wrong. They even put directions. <laughs> Unwrap and eat one bar every few hours. Eat in small pieces or mix with water. You know what that tells you. So, let's open it up and check it out. We're opening it up. Now, the last ration bars that I did, they were not individually wrapped. It was a brick. Now this is pretty cool. Individually wrapped. 12 bars. They look like little granola bars. They do. And here we are. Now I'm not going to mix it with water. But I'm going to chase it with the best tasting Coke out there. Coke in a glass bottle. You can't go wrong. I don't care what anybody says. Let's get this open up and get to it. I got a comment from a subscriber said I need to stop at the Hollywood stuff and get to it. Okay. But it's just so fun. It smells like peanut butter. Oh, this one's already broke. It looks dry. It 
it's not bad. It is very crumbly. Yeah, I just made a damn mess. It is very dry. Very dry. It does not taste bad. It's it's like eating powder. It don't dry your mouth out as bad. That's what it, I mean. As soon as you put it in your mouth, it just crumbles. Or or before you put it in your mouth. You take a bigger bite. You need something to drink. Probably pretty good with coffee or some milk if you have it. I know Ready Wise, my patriot, all in places they sell the, the powdered whey milk. Coffee. Yeah, that'd be a good coffee. I guess it'll give you a full filling. I don't know. To me it's more of a snack. It's that's why it's called emergency ration bars, people. These are not meant for long term survival. These are meant to get you through until you can get something to eat. So that you don't starve. So that you don't get too hungry. Emergency ration bars. I wish I'd make some emergency ration steak. They do. Freeze dry sirloin. Check out my video. Anyway, not bad. Like I said, good flavor. Little on the dry side. Um, I kind of wish it was 3,600 calories instead of 24. But not bad. Um, what I am going to do now that we're getting a slight weather change, everything's starting to open and back up. Start planning some camping trips. And I want dang. I want to do a solo overnighter to where this is my only food for one night. I'm gonna be a hungry joker. I can eat. I can eat. But we're gonna do an overnighter where we just take emergency ration bars. We're gonna do an overnighter to where we only food we take is a a 72 hour emergency ration kit food kit we're gonna put the, the ready wise and the, my Patriots uh, 72 hour food emergency food rations to the test and uh, my brother over at live your truth he's gonna do one as well hmm it's actually pretty dang good. Once you get past the the dry. But it's something you can look forward to. When we do now that we're getting into the cooler weather. And we get to do the overnighters. Emergency foods, freeze dried foods, all that good stuff. We're gonna we're gonna do a bunch of different scenarios. Couldn't have done that. One of the bigger pieces will dry up. But anyway, I have a spot right here in my backyard, nice and wooded, that I've been thinking about doing some outdoor activities just so I can bring you guys some videos. Let me know what you think on that one. Hell, I ain't, I ain't scared to camp in my own backyard. I have a problem with it. 
But I hope you enjoyed this little video. Remember, let's be prepared, people. We don't know what's gonna come what's gonna come next. Those people over there, they got the hurricane, lost everything. Started getting back in there to where they could look at stuff, look at what they lost and everything. A couple of days later, they got a rainstorm. Be prepared. Get you some food and set it back. The FEMA recommends 72 hours worth of food. So that don't mean buy a 72 hour kit and you're good. That means buy enough food for everyone in your family to last at least 72 hours. That's minimum. We're talking we're talking water too. Everything. Hope you enjoyed this. Do me a favor. Go ahead. Give me that thumbs up. Please go ahead and subscribe right now. Download and share. Check us out on Facebook, Sweet Outdoors. Like I said, I really hope you enjoyed this. Take it from me, guys. You don't want to be stuck. Get prepared. Get you some food. Get you some water. Some emergency supplies. You can go to the FEMA website. I'm sure they've got a whole list of emergency supplies that they recommend that you have in your home at all times. I have all the stuff I need. Be safe. God bless. Get outside, people. And have a coconut smile.